Welcome back to the WinCamps channel. Today I'm going to be talking about linked files. This is a tab that is usually right next to the directory uh, and it's in m not all data entry facilities but pretty much all of the important ones. And all it is is if you want to take a document or a file of any sort and have it follow that record around. Okay, so the most common kind of linked files is in invoice data entry where people take the paper invoice and they scan it and they make a PDF and then they link that to the invoice. So then if you're ever looking at the invoice and you're wondering what's going on or you're having a dispute with the vendor or whatever and you want to see the original of that invoice, you don't have to go to the file cabinet. You can just look in your linked files. Okay, so other other things are purchase agreements on vehicles or contracts, uh, you know, the actual signed contract in a PO uh, or, or time card forms that, that employees have signed. You could link them to the time cards. Uh, what, there's lots of things you can use this for. You can, of course, link other documents besides PDFs, anything that your computer knows how to open, PDF, Excel file, Word document, uh, any, just about anything. So you find the, the, the record you want, so I'm going to go to this invoice and now this grid is saying you can link any, num any number of files to this, to this invoice. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this grid and talk about three options at the bottom. Once it's, it's what we're going to do with the file once you link it. Okay. So the, the standard is before you link the file, we are going to copy that file into a special folder underneath the WinCams folder in our structure. Okay, so we're going to leave the original where it was, and we're going to link the one that we're going to be linked to, and the one that's going to open if you open it from CAMS is going to be in our area. Okay, so that makes perfect sense for most kind of files, and I'm going to tell you the one kind of file it does not make sense for. Option two is before linking, move the file to the CAMS linked files folder. So that means I'm going to remove it from where it was, and I'm going to put it also in the CAMS linked files folder, but then it won't be where it was originally. So that's a, I actually use that one fairly regularly when I'm scanning because then it cleans up my desktop. So I scan, it puts it on my desktop, then I link, and then it's gone from my desktop because I don't really need it on my desktop anymore. And then the third one is the least, least value, or least common one, but it has value. It's use the files in their original location. And the reason for that is if you are linking to a file that is going to be referenced from people that are using it outside of CAMS. Okay? So if you have a spreadsheet that people are collaborating on uh, that's on your server and people are opening that spreadsheet directly and there's people that don't even use CAMS that look at that spreadsheet, then you certainly want to use the files in their original location in order to prevent the idea of both of the, these upper two options result in a snapshot in time of that file. So if that file is going to be dynamic from other places, then you need to use the file in, their, in its original location. But I'm going to leave it at before linking, copy the file to the linked files folder. Another thing that I like to do is I t I'm going to turn on the edit properties after insert option. Okay? And that means that it, it's going to pop up the properties window after I create a linked file. So let's create a linked file that's with the plus down below the grid. And all it's going to do is open up a an an, an open dialog, um, and uh, I can and it's and I can navigate around and to wherever my, I I scanned my document or wherever my spreadsheet is or whatever I want. Um, what I didn't really plan for a file here, but here's a text file, so that that should be fine. As soon as I click double click it. I, I told it to bring up the properties dialog after the insert, which is just tells me about the file, and I can enter a comment, um, notes about this file. Okay, so now it's in the note in here. This is the file name, this is the comment, this is the file's date and size, and then you can see here that the current location is on, on my H drive in my, this is, this is, Yours will probably say WinCams and then some uh, your three-letter abbreviation, um, but basically it's going to look similar to this. So this is I'm running a, a county called Grays Harbor in 
Washington, so that's why it says GRH files. Yours would say <clears throat> NAP files if you're in Napa County or whatever, and it's in the linked files folder. And then it shows where the original location was, was on my desktop, right? So if I had chosen to use the file in there in its original location, then what do we expect would happen? Uh, that probably that that file would be um, w that file would or those two those two paths would be the same. So let's see if I uh, here's a there's a JPEG. Okay, so I put in a comment. Right. So now you can see that the location I'm pointing to is on my desktop and my original location was my desktop. So that's what I would use for um, those dynamic files. But you got to be careful because if I do exactly what I did right there, then my coworker is not going to be able to find this. So they go to this invoice in CAMS, they double click on it, and they are going to, or they actually they, as soon as they, they will have a red circle for a broken link here. And the reason for that is because it will, uh, in fact, let's go break that link right now. Um, okay, I'm going to delete the file. So now if I go back to my invoices, you can see that it doesn't have a piece of paper. It has a do not enter sign because it's saying this, the, the destination of this link is gone and I don't know where it went because remember we're not, in, th in this case, we're not storing the files. Now, even when we store them here in our linked files area, we still don't prevent someone else from going into your server and messing with those files, potentially. But we're saying, I can't find this file, so my pointer is going to fail. Okay, if I want to edit, and it says unavailable, uh, deleted, moved, or inaccessible, and then it's followed by my comment. And so, of course, we don't know anything about the file. Um, if I want to edit the properties of a file after I've already brought it up, I can also, or put it in, I can use that little icon there to edit the properties or if I want to look at the file right whatever it is this will tell Windows to open the file so if I double click the file oh, it came up on my other screen there it is okay so it was a text file if it was a picture if it had been that JPEG file that we just were looking at um, th it would it would uh, show me if it's a whatever it is Windows is going to know how to how to open it and if it's Excel, then so if I so if I link to say uh, let's see this is a, so this is an Excel file. Then if I double click on this, it's going to open up a spreadsheet showing where I'm traveling to. Okay. Um, and you notice that it, because I still had my settings, my right-click setting user file in its original location, it was pointing to it there. And that would be a perfect example because uh, because co other coworkers and I are both entering into that travel spreadsheet. So if I take a snapshot of it and put it into the CAMS location, then they aren't going to be able to access it unless they access it through CAMS. Um, what else about linked files? Notice that when you that when you put a linked file into this if you attach a link file to this invoice then then when I come to this invoice there will be an asterisk on link files to indicate that there are linked files present here um, and if I wanted to delete the link I can hit uh, delete and it says will not delete the file we are gonna leave the file we're not in the business of deleting files we're just gonna delete the link okay that is that is in there. And then the last thing, and you can have some of those similar options in the right click menu. And the last thing you can do here is add a web link. So there's no file to, to navigate to, but I could say uh, this is uh, maybe the, the, the vendor's website or the recall site for a, a type of car or I don't know, something that would, that would make sense. I'm just going to put in a uh, website here. Now this link, let website link, URL link, will follow this record around and I can go bring up and it will bring up my browser. Remember that all it's doing is, it. we don't know what these things are. It, all it's doing is saying, hey Windows, open this. So I've seen people link 
go to a, a work on a server and then they link to a, a Excel spreadsheet and then they double click it later and the server says I don't know how to open an XLS right or an XLSX because I don't have Excel installed or if you link to an open office document the same thing could happen so um, that can be really powerful and I've had a lot of users happily link their scanned invoices or, or their PDFs or whatever, their employees' uh, time cards after they enter them and then, you know, they don't shred the, the original but they put it in the file cabinet and say I'm never going to go back to that file cabinet again to get that invoice. So happy linking.